The storm is getting really bad. Darling, quick, go get the babies. All right, John George, come on, we gotta get out of here. Ah! Uh, there's nothing biting today. Maybe I should head home. Wait, what's that? Is that a baby? Oh my gosh! Little guy, what are you doing out here? All by yourself. Uh, I need to find your parents. All right, little one, you come on with me. <laughs> It's okay. It's gonna be okay, all right? Hey, hey, guys, are you guys okay? I saw everything that happened. No, we're not okay. Our baby's still lost out there somewhere. We have no idea where he is. Well, don't worry, all right, guys? The rescue team is out there now. We haven't found anything yet, though. Darling, our yacht sank and our baby is gone. Listen, we still need to have faith, all right? We can't give up hope now. I'm so sorry about you guys' loss. We can never find John. Maybe we don't tell George about this. It'll be way too hard for him to know he lost his own twin brother. If that gets to the case, then maybe you're right. But we're not gonna let that happen. We have to find him. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, ow! I found this baby. Lost on a beach. He needs someone to take care of him. I don't know about that. You know, we're really busy. Look, I can't raise a kid, okay? I can barely take care of myself. Someone needs to take this child. Mm, sounds like a you problem now. I mean, where are the parents? I don't know. I called around. No one's claimed this child. All right, then. Just give the child over to me. Give him over. Let's go. Well, little one, hopefully someone adopts you soon. Good luck. Hey, you heard me right, all right? I said knock it off. You can't tell me what to do. You're so annoying. What do you mean I'm annoying? I'm just living my life, man. You're living your life? You almost ruined my chances of being adopted. Don't do that again. It's not my fault you're not getting adopted. Maybe you should stop trying to beat me up all the time. I'm not doing anything wrong. You exist. That's wrong enough. It has has it ever come across to you that I want to be adopted too? I hate living here. Yeah, you're never going to be adopted. No one wants you and no one ever will. No, that's not true. John, John, hey, get in here. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, what happened? What happened? Excuse me, watch your mouth. Now look, there's a nice family here to adopt you. Wait, wait, seriously? You guys want me? H hi, uh, my name's John. Ah, my name is Clarence. This is my wife, Petunia. We're looking to adopt a child, and you seem like a perfect fit. Well, it's nice to meet you guys. Why would you guys want to adopt me out of anyone? Well, you seem like a really nice kid. We may not have much, but we got a really nice life with a farm, some cows, and, I don't know, all we're missing is a son. We always wanted a family to complete it. Yeah, of course. That sounds awesome. Any place is better than here. I love to be a part of your guys' family. Hey, Dad? And don't talk back to me again, all right? I run this company. Yes, yes, sorry. George, what do you want? Well, I went to the store the other day and I bought this new game. I was thinking maybe we could have a family game night. You know, you and Mom promised. Yeah, yeah, listen, like I told you before, if you want a new gaming system, just grab my credit card, all right? It's on the kitchen table and go buy one. No, that's not what I said. I already have the game. It's this really fun board game where... All right, George, listen. And I gotta cut you off there. I'm busy right now. Go talk to your mom. <sighs> Okay. Hey, Mom? Mom? Yes, George? What is it? Are we gonna have family game night tonight? You and Dad promised. Oh, my goodness. Is that tonight? I totally forgot. I am so sorry. But I'm booked. You're booked? What are you doing? It's a Friday night. Well, there's a big movie premiere, and then after the premiere is a giant party, and I just have to go. That sucks. I just wanted to have a game night with you guys. Sweetheart, look, if you want a new gaming system or whatever, just go buy one. You know where the credit cards are. Oh, you're not even listening to me either. What, George? Don't you raise your voice at me. What is wrong with you? <sighs> you just don't get it. This is my new home? Is it that bad? Uh, I told you it wasn't much. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of money, but we do all right. No, no, are you kidding me? It's it's fine. It's actually, like, beautiful. I never had an official place to live before. Well, my wife and I always wanted a kid, and I think we were able to find the right person to welcome into our family. Of course. I mean, this farm also looks amazing. Do you think you guys would ever need help to work on it? Well, yes. I mean, we grow our own food and vegetables, and we could always use help tending the fields. But I don't want you to think that we had just adopted you for work. No, of course not. I mean, I offered anyway, and I want to learn how to do something for once. I've been stuck in that orphanage my entire life. Can't imagine how rough that must have been. Well, the fields definitely do need some tending. There's been a lot of rain this year, and we need to start weeding it out soon. Okay, good. So count me in. Ah, <sighs> 
great. Another dinner by myself. Look at all this. There's no way I'm gonna eat all of this food. I don't even want it. George, sweetheart. Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? I didn't think you were coming home for dinner. Look, we're really sorry about the last few days, alright? We know we've been really busy. We haven't been paying much attention to you. It's okay. It's just one game night. We can have another one, that's all. And I know both of you work a lot and have a lot to do. It's not easy being millionaires. You guys always tell me that. That's true. It's very difficult. But we do want to make up for it. We feel really bad. That's right. We uh, decided to rent a new house. A new place to live. A new place to be. A breath of fresh air, if you will. Rented a house? Where? It's a new mansion. In the middle of nowhere. No service, no nothing. That way, we'll have family quality time just like you want. Oh, wow. Did you guys cook dinner? Well, kind of. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. I'm sorry, John. No, no. It's okay. I understand. I mean, I know that we didn't really have any crops to sell or trade today, so it's totally fine. I mean, I love apples and bread anyway. You are just so understanding, John. You know, it won't be like this forever. We promise. Yeah, and I trust you guys. I mean, when I was in the orphanage, I used to eat food like this all the time, so I'm just happy to finally have a family. I've never really felt like, you know, love in my life before. Oh, well, that just breaks my heart. Yeah, I mean, being surrounded just by that old orphanage lady my entire life, it's not ideal. Yeah, safe to say she wasn't the nicest lady. And listen, if you ever need help, like, cooking dinner or something, too, just let me know. While the orphanage sucked, I, I did learn a thing or two. Oh my gosh, yes! A little help? I love that. Oh, this place is so nice! And you know, it just feels so nice to get away. Look at us now, we're really roughing it out here. <laughs> I mean, no cell service? You gotta be kidding me. I know, it's the strangest thing. I thought there was gonna be service. Well, it's okay. Then we can just spend time together. Off of our phones, we can hang out. Yeah, yeah, George, but I mean, just warning you, I did pay to have a satellite phone installed, though. J just for work, though, I promise. You still have to work? Of course, who else is gonna run the company? You're not ready to do that yet. Then I guess I'll still have some time to myself. I wish I had a sibling to keep me company or something. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Look what you did to your mother. Why did you get her upset? I don't know. What did I say? You didn't say anything. Just just don't worry about it and don't look into it. You should just be thankful that you're here, okay? What is going on? What did I say? Mom, I'm so sorry. Just just go. Fine. And then I will go. It's just so hard. Every time I look at George, I, I see him. It's okay. Just still remember. We're still searching for him, all right? Don't give up hope yet. I do hope we find John someday. John, help! Oh, no. What's going on? Why is everything on fire? I don't know, but all our crops, they're burning down. Okay, well, what should we do? What should we do? I don't know what I need to do. Hey, all right, just calm down, okay? We gotta contain this fire. But we need to get out of here first. Yeah, you're right. Let's just stay calm. I'm just glad that mom's out of town. Stupid mom, stupid dad. <sighs> what? That guy, he looks just like me. Who is he? Are you crazy running off like that? I told you to stay here. Dad, I'm fine. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't get caught up in that fire. I thought something happened to you. Well, clearly I'm fine. I did see that fire though. You know what? No, no, this is too dangerous. This entire place is too dangerous. We're all packing up. We're gonna head home now. No, no, we shouldn't leave now. Maybe we should go check on those farmers and see if they need help. Yeah, I don't know about that, son. Seems like a waste of time. There was also something really weird, Dad. I want to talk to you about it. Yeah, what? is it? One of those farmers, he looked exactly like me. I mean, exactly like me. Uh, George, I think you must be seeing things, all right? You must be just shocked from what just happened. No, dad, it's just way too much of a coincidence. I want to go. Listen, your mom is already waiting to go. We need to leave now. I can't believe it. Everything is gone. All of our crops are completely ruined. All of those years of work, just gone in a second. I can't even look at it anymore. It's breaking my heart. Guys, listen, I know that this is horrible, but we got to keep looking up, okay? Well, we can figure this out. First, we need to just figure out, like, how could this have even happened? Well, it was really windy out. Anything could have sparked it. Yeah, you're right, but we can't give up. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of this. You're right. We gotta keep our heads up. We can't get too set upset about this. Yeah, I think you're right. We might not have a place to live right now, but at least we've got this land. We just build ourselves a little shelter, start rebuilding the farm, things will start looking up again. Listen, as long as we have together and we have each other's backs, that's all that matters. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. Dad, why won't you talk to me about this? Everything should be okay, all right? Those, all those people survived. Yeah, but we should help that family. They lost everything. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could try to send someone over there with some money or something. That'll fix everything. Yeah, I guess that'll really help. But we should be doing it ourselves. Why do you think that, huh? We have way too much on our plates than to do that. Your mom is still crying to this very day. You won't even tell me what I said. She's not even talking to me. She won't even look at me. You just need to give her time, okay? But still, we have way too much going on than to go on a little silly trip to help a family. 
family we don't even know. Well, I can go. I've been meaning to go talk to that guy. You know, the one that looks just like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, whatever. If that's what you want to do, then fine. Oh, hello? Yeah, this is me. <sighs> you don't really care anyways. I will go give them that money. Well, if it rains, I think this will cover us pretty good. Not a bad little shelter we built, John. Yeah, no, I'm really proud of it too. And I still had a little bit of money that I earned after I helped fixing that one neighbor's car. So I think I'm gonna go down to the store to get some food for us. All right, well, hurry back. And don't spend too much of that money in one place. Yeah, of course. I'll spend it responsibly, I promise. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any spare change? Could really use the help. Oh, man. I'm pretty low on money, too. But you know what? Fine. Here. You could take this. Oh, thank you so much. You got any more? There's a couple people in the alley that could use some food as well. This guy Jim hasn't eaten in days. I'm sorry. That's, that's all I have. I'm pretty sure they're selling a lot of food inside for that amount of money. You guys should be fine. Well, this is all you have? Well, thank you so much for being so generous. Of course. I wish you the best of luck in everything, okay? Thanks again. This is all you got? Thought you were gonna bring more back than that. I know, I know it's only a can of beans, but this is all I can afford. You know, I, I think this'll do us just fine. I'm sure we can split it up between the three of us. But I told you not to spend all your money. Yeah, I know. There was this homeless guy there, and he, he looked like he needed it more than me. He looked like he was starving for days, so I gave some of it to him. Well, I'm a little upset you didn't listen to me, but you did a good thing, John. Yeah, and I mean, I can always go and make more money. I mean, there are tons of cars and tractors around that I can clean and fix, and I'm pretty good at it, too. You know, it was so nice of you to help out, man, even though you're struggling, too. That says a lot about you. Well, yeah, that, that's how everyone should be. We all should look out for each other, and that's exactly what all three of us are gonna do, too, right? That's right. Now, I'm gonna need your help replanting the fields tomorrow. It's gonna be a real early day, so you better get some rest. Of course. I'll get to sleep right after I eat. Uh, what do you think of this one, George? Well, this one is really nice, Dad, but I already have, like, ten cars. I don't think I need another one. I know you've been feeling down lately, so I wanted to get you a present. Come on, you gotta accept it. I don't want another car, Dad. I'm upset because we didn't end up helping those people. You wouldn't give me the money to give to them. I've changed my mind, okay? I can't help everyone in this world. If I could, then we'd all be broke. But you're just about to buy me a $100,000 car. All because I was upset. Yeah, in a few rounds in the neighborhood, I'm pretty sure you'll feel a lot better. Shouldn't we at least try to help those people? Let's just take the money for the car and give it to them. In time, okay? I can help some other people soon. But right now, all I'm trying to do is help you. You're my family, and that's all that matters to me. So which one do you want? <sighs> I'll take this one. All right, I can do this. Just don't let dad find out and everything will be fine. Whoa, there it is. That car's beautiful. Yeah, thanks. So you replied to my ad online. Are you interested? Am I interested? Of course I am. I want to buy this thing right now. My kid's going to love it. All right, how does 250K sound? Oh, that's it? Oh my God, you're lowballing now. Yeah, of course. Here you go. I usually carry all this around just in case if I see something cool and I want to buy it anyway. Okay, great. Well, the car's yours. Thanks. Oh, my son's gonna flip out for his 11th birthday party. Wait, your son's 11? Hey, you already sold me the car, man. No questions. No, fine. Fine, no problem. But I need to travel for a bit. Is there any chance you could give me a ride? What, me? No, I don't know how to drive. I've never driven in my life. My driver sure can, though. Well, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. I have somewhere important I need to be. All right, thanks again for the drive. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Um, excuse me, sir. Ha! How can I help you today? I wanted to come by and say, I'm really sorry what happened to you and your family. I saw the fire and everything. Yeah, there was a pretty rough fire, but everything's going okay. I'm just blessed that my family's still safe and in one piece. Yeah, that's really important. I'm glad your family stuck together through all of that. That's right. All we got in this world is each other. We can rebuild this farm, no problem. Just gonna take some time, that's all. I wish my family would spend some more time with me, that's for sure. Who are you, by the way? Uh, my name is George, and I came all the way here not just to talk to you, but to give you and your family this. Oh my word, what is all this? It's $250,000. I wanted to give it to you and help you get back on your feet. I felt so bad about the fire, you folks losing everything. It's the least I could do to help. I'm just in shock. I can't believe this. Thank you so much. <sighs> it's not a problem. I'm glad to help. Well, you should meet my son. You two are around the same age. We should all go out to dinner as a thank you for all your help. Hey, Dad, sorry I'm late. Wait, what? 
Who are you? John, this is George. He's the one that helped our family. He gave us a big donation. Don't you think it's kind of weird that we look exactly alike? Come to think of it. Yeah, I didn't notice before, but you two do look very much alike. I'll be honest. I saw you when the fire was going on. I thought it was weird too. I thought the same thing. Do you know if you were adopted by any chance? No, my mom and dad are my birth parents. Dude, I mean, you look exactly like me. Like, you could be my twin. We could be twins. I was just thinking that. Oh, this is a little weird now, isn't it? What if you two actually were twins? Yeah, I know. And seriously, thank you so much for the money. I mean, you didn't have to do that. Well, I was just glad to help. That's all. But I'll be honest, I'm starting to get really hungry. I want to take you and your family out to dinner. Why don't we head inside and eat? Yeah, I could really use a meal. Let's go inside and talk. Ugh, I am never taking an Uber again. That guy drives like a maniac. Where have you been? You've been gone, George. I was just busy, that's all. You're busy all the time. Why do you care? Listen, just because I got you a new car doesn't mean that you can just drive it around wherever you want, okay? I got rid of the car, Dad. What? What do you mean you got rid of the car? That was your 11th car. And I didn't need it, so I sold it. You have no right to make that call. The car was in my name. It was mine, and I could do whatever I want with it. So what did you do with it exactly? Well, I took the money from selling it, and I went and I actually helped that family on that farm. Like I said I was going to. You don't understand, okay? That's, that's too much money to just give to someone randomly. That car was specially made just for you. $250,000 down the drain. That money was better off given to those people. They appreciated it way more than I did that car. And I got to connect with that family, and they're really good people. I want you to meet them. I have no interest in meeting any of these people. Trust me, you'll want to meet them. There's a guy there named John. He looks just like me. Wait, wait, what did you you just say look at it dad we built this entire place up george was so nice for giving us all that money he was probably one of the nicest people i ever met in my life besides you and your mom of course i never had a house nice like this in my whole life i'll tell you what i'm just excited to actually finally start a new life with you guys that's it are you the one that stole my son's money stole your son's money huh you must be george's dad no sir we didn't steal any money george gave it to us oh my god Gosh, you look just like George. Yeah, that's what we thought too. We thought the exact same thing. You're John, right? Yeah. I think this may be weird, but I think you may be my son. What on earth? You think he's actually your son? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Don't you guys think it's weird that they look identical, huh? See, I knew he was my twin. I knew it. Many, many years ago when you guys were just born, we got in a boat crash and we were never able to find you. So what, I was just, I was just lost at sea? Is that how I ended up in the orphanage all my entire life? And you didn't even look for him. You left him to be all by himself. John is my son. No, that's not true. L listen, we didn't stop looking. How come you guys never found me in that orphanage? There's only so many near here. Look at what you've done. You've upset John. Now get out of here. You're not welcome at this farm anymore. Listen, sweetheart, I'm telling you, I swear it was him. Really? You mean it this time? Yes, it was like I was looking at George. They were identical, but it was John. I know it was. Our son. I knew he was out there somewhere. We need to get him. We need to bring him home right away. Well, right now he's living on a gross farm. Oh, that poor kid. He must have had such a hard life. How do we not find him until now? Find who? What are you guys talking about? Oh, um, George. <laughs> what did you hear exactly? I heard everything, and I want to hear you say it. Listen, son, you have a brother. A twin, actually. What? This whole time? You've never told me I had a twin brother. We just thought he was gone in the boat accident that we were in years ago, and we didn't want to hurt you. Trust me, we were doing it to protect you. We just thought it would be a lot harder to explain if your brother was really lost and we never found him. You two lied to me my whole life. That's way worse. I always felt like something was missing, and I wanted more family. I felt like there was another part of me that was gone, and you kept this from me. Listen, just, just, just calm down, okay? Just please. No, I'm not gonna calm down. I am sick of this. I'm not dealing with your lies anymore. George, come back. I think I can make it. Uh, it's only just a little bit ahead. I gotta get to him. I gotta get to John. I can't believe this. My parents lied to me my whole life. I have a brother out there the whole time, and no one told me. And worse, he could have been dead, for all I know. He could have gotten hurt in that fire. And to think, my dad didn't want me to help them. They're being so selfish. I've got to get John. I've got to tell him the truth. We are brothers. You know, the crops are going to come in real nice. Looks like everything really is turning up better. Yeah, it is. Look, uh, I'm sorry about all the craziness the other day. You know, with that rich jerk running around. 
It's it's okay. I mean, my entire life I wanted to know who my actual family was, so guess I was able to get that wish. Well, I want you to know that your mother and I love you. We are your family now. Of course, you guys show that you care for me, and that's all that really matters. But there's always going to be that little part of me that is going to know that someone just abandoned me. And I still want to know why. The past is the past now, John, and it's best to just leave that behind you. Why would you want to get hurt like that again? I just want to know the truth. And I always tell myself that no matter what, I'm going to try to get what I want in life. Well, it's a good chance that these people honestly aren't your family to begin with. Who knows? That rich millionaire jerk could just be lying to you. Yeah, you know what? You're right. We should just continue to worry about the crops. I have my family right here, and I'm really grateful for you guys. John, there you are. Hey, uh, hold on a second. I just got to catch my breath. Whoa, whoa, man. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just ran here all the way from my house. I live a long ways away from here. Dude, you're crazy. You ran the entire way here? You shouldn't do that. It's dangerous. Yeah, but I just had to talk to you. Why you just found out we're actually twin brothers. It's just insane. I can't believe my parents never told me. I don't even know if we are actually brothers. Nothing's been proven yet. Come on, dude. Look at us. It's like looking into a mirror, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Haven't you always felt like you were missing a part of you? Like there was more family out there for you than what you had. All the time, every single day. My parents are always busy and they just throw money at their problems. I was just left alone all the time. I knew there was something more out there, but I didn't know what it was until now. It was you. Look, man, you were blessed with a life that I've always wanted. I mean, when I grew up, I was uh, always alone. And like you said, I always wondered where my actual family was. And now it just feels like I'm starting to actually finally get that with the family back at the farm. Yeah, they seem like great people. But, John, you have to admit, this is so much of a coincidence. We really could be twin brothers. We need to find out. All right, all right, fine. You're right. Let's just go back to the house. We'll figure everything out, all right? But first, we're about to have dinner. So come join us. This new house is really beautiful. And there are so many different lives here. You know, I think I really like this area. It's good living out here, being outside, being one with nature and the earth, you know, growing your own food. Yeah, seriously, it's great. So you two think you're real twins, huh? Well, I'm hoping so. Yeah, and you know what? I hope so too. Having a brother would be nice. Yeah, I always wanted a brother. It already seems like we do have some stuff in common. So, John, does that mean you're going to be leaving? Going to live with your new family? Well, I think you should definitely come back and meet my parents. Find out if we're really related and figure it out from there. Listen, I'm not just going to abandon you, okay, Dad? But would it just be okay if I go to the city for at least a couple days and see how everything is? Well, uh, I, I guess that would be fine. I mean, sorry I'm not a millionaire or all that. And sorry we didn't give you all that fancy stuff, but... Maybe now this family will be able to give that to you. Good luck. Wait, no. See, this is just why I don't want to do this. This is actually where you live, George? Uh, this is one of the places. You should see the beach house. Now that place is beautiful. No way, you guys own multiple houses? This is just all crazy. What am I even doing here? You're gonna go meet your mom and dad, hopefully. Okay, yeah, fine. You're right. Now, come on, let's go inside. Hey, mom, this is John. Hi, it's nice to meet you guys. I I really don't uh, know what to say. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. It's you, John. You're, you're really here. I thought I lost you so long ago. Mom, just calm down, okay? I mean, we don't really know if we're really twins yet. Well, I know for a fact that you guys are. I've been searching for you your entire life, John, I promise. Guys, guys, just let's just slow down a little bit, all right? This is this is a lot for me. Well, we need to find out if you're actually our son. We need to know. Yeah, let's just take that step first because right now I'm starting to feel overwhelmed and I don't know if I can handle all of this. Yeah, uh, of course. We're going to get that taken care of you real quick. Don't worry, John. You got this. Uh, are you nervous or is it just me? No, I'm nervous too, dude. They always say twins have a weird connection, so maybe this is it. No matter what happens, I'm glad that you found me. I'm glad I got to know you because you're actually a really good person. Hey, thanks. You know, you're a pretty good person too. All right, here you go, boys. Got your results. Okay, and what's the verdict? Well, you two are basically identical. You're definitely twins. Seriously? This is a miracle! Ha! Uh, I knew it! Man, this is awesome! I'll, uh, let you guys have the rub. This is so cool! I always wanted a brother! Me too, but now I don't know what I'm gonna do. What do you mean? Listen, man, I can't just choose between families. Yeah, but... I, 
I felt alone forever. Now I finally have you. We need to be a family too. And that's exactly what we're gonna be. I knew it. I knew you were really my son. This is amazing. I am just so happy. I'm happy too. I'm just finally glad to meet you guys. I never thought I'd meet my actual family. I thought I was abandoned my entire life. Trust me, son. We were looking every single day. We always knew that you were out there somewhere. We spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on search teams, and they're always out there trying to find you. I'm happy that you guys did, and I hope that we can build a relationship out of this sometime. Well, why don't we start now? I'm sorry, guys, but I already have a family out there. One that loves me, and I'm not just gonna up and leave. They're my family, too. Wait, you're leaving? What? You can't just do that. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I really am, but they took care of me when I needed them the most. They are my parents, too, and I'm not just going to up and leave them. But we're your real family, and you're, you're leaving us right now. We have so much money, don't you understand? We can give you everything that you ever wanted, everything you ever desired. I'm sorry, guys, but a loving and caring family, no money can buy that. John is right. We should be grateful that we know that he's alive and he's okay. We spend too much time thinking about money, and it's not going to solve all of our problems. Hmm. Well, maybe he is right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm emotionally overwhelmed right now. I don't know what to say. I just miss you so much. I'm still going to be part of your lives. One person I know for a fact that I want to be closer to, though, is my brother, George. Yeah, I think we might be able to make something work. You know, I never pictured myself actually working on a farm, but <laughs> this is kind of cool. And it's good to spend time with you. Yeah, man, I told you. It's not that bad. It's good to put in some work now and then. You know, it makes you feel like you're accomplishing things. Yeah, exactly. And my parents, they just closed on the mansion up the street. So now I can stay here and help and work as long as I want to. 